Hi, I'm Nick. And I'm Dana with Indie Desk Kits. And today we're going to talk about test kits, specifically nitrate test kits. So normally we use the API Master Freshwater Test Kit. And recently we tested the water and it was crazy inaccurate. It was like 80 ppm is what it said. Which is really weird for our tank. Because it's a discus tank, we do 50% water changes every single day. And now granted we don't test our water every day. I try to test it once a week just to keep an eye on it. So I tested it one day. And it, it came out 80, I freaked out, ran around the house, decided to do another water change, did another water change, waited an hour or two, tested it again, no change. So we tested the RO tank as well as our tap water, and the tap water was through the roof with nitrates, and our RO tank was the exact same as our fish tank. Um, and so initially we thought there must be something going on that's causing a lot of nitrates to be in our tap water and the RO just couldn't get it all out of there. Um, but after several days with no change, we finally decided there's got to be something going on and we must be getting a bad read from our test kit. So there's a couple things you should know about the API test kits. First off, the expiration date is printed on each bottle. They're good for two or three years. Ours was good for 2017, but I do recommend everyone go check theirs, and if it's past the expiration date, just go ahead and get rid of it now. So here's the problem with the API test kit, and we're not saying that it's bad because we actually plan on getting another one and continuing to use it. But the kit is made up of four regents, most of which are liquid, however, in bottle number two there's also a powder. Um, and if you don't mix it all the way, then when you use it, some of this powder sticks to the sides of the bottle. So then when you go and squirt it out, you're going to squirt out more liquid than you're supposed to be and leave powder in the bottle. So you're going to get an inaccurate test, but even worse, is because you left the powder in the bottle, every test after that, even if you actually shake it up enough, is going to be off. And it'll progressively get worse and worse and worse until one day you test your tank and it's just ridiculous the, the number you get. It just doesn't make any sense and it's, it's not good. So what you need to do is make sure that you mix it very, very thoroughly. We always shook ours ahead of time, however, that was not enough. So shake the crap out of it, smack it on the table, just go crazy, do whatever you gotta do to make sure it's thoroughly mixed. And even then, a lot of people will still throw theirs out after a year and replace it just to make sure that they don't run into the problem we did. And the, the other thing I gotta say here is because of all this, I ran out and just grabbed the first nitrate test kit I could get my hands on. And I ended up grabbing the Sarah standalone nitrate test kit. And I actually really like it. The reason I like it is it actually has all the reagents separated. So you get three liquid bottles and you actually get a little vial of the powder and a little measuring spoon to mix in yourself. The other nice thing is the vials a lot bigger than the API ones. I feel like you can get the, the actual accurate amount of water in the thing. So that's just a good thing to have on hand as a backup to double check your normal test kit, uh, make sure everything is, you're getting accurate readings. Uh, in addition to if you run into a problem like we do where you get a reading that just doesn't make sense, then you've got something else to immediately check it. Uh, the other thing that's great to have on hand is test strips. Uh, they're not that accurate. However, again, it's just a plan B, something to test and compare against your normal liquid kit and make sure that you are getting accurate readings. So I think that's it. That's some information on some test kits for you guys. Um, we would definitely love to know if anyone else has ran into this issue. Um, it was definitely a first for us. Freaked me out a little bit when I saw the test reading. Um, and then also, if you have any recommendations on test kits or things like that that you use and you really like, um, we're always up to try new stuff, so let us know. And then, of course, if there's something you'd like to see in a future video or anything like that, just leave us a comment below. We'll try to work it in. Um, other than that, have a good night, and thanks for watching. Please subscribe!